Hey everyone, Jessica Kubasi here. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be going over a very easy blur technique that you can use on photos that maybe are too distracting, the background's a little bit crazy, um, background's too plain or boring, and you want to add some interest to it. Um, yeah, again, this is really easy, and I like to do it, but I don't like to go too crazy. I mean, I mean it's not going to look like a movie poster, so... The first thing you're going to want to do is duplicate whatever picture you have. So just press Command J, and I'm using a Mac, so if it's Windows, it's probably Control J. Um, now that we've duplicated the photo, we're going to go to Filter, Blur, and then I like to use Motion Blur. Now the amount of blur depends on what kind of picture you have, what size your picture is, and how crazy you are. I'm just joking. It doesn't depend on how crazy you are, but I mean, really, like, if you really want to go like that, you could give it more distance, but I like to keep it a little subtle. I mean, for the sake of the tutorial, I'll go around, like, 46 is pretty good for me right now. So you're going to press OK, and then what you're going to want to do is mask out this area, and I have a masking tutorial if you do not know how to use masks. I 100% recommend that you watch this video because the my tutorial on masking because it is very helpful so you're going to want to make a mask and you make a mask by going down to this little square button right here and it, and it adds the layer mask so now what you want to do is invert the mask and you're going to want you can do that by going to command i so command i gets rid of it if i press command i again it shows it so we're just pressing Command I to invert the selection to hide it. Now you're gonna just go ahead and take a regular brush, and I'm gonna use some of the default brushes that we have. Just a round brush will do. You're gonna want to make sure your brush color is white. If it's black, it's not gonna do anything. You want it to be um, a white color on black. So um, opacity, I'm going to actually put this to 44%. And now what I'm going to do is simply brush over the area that I want. And as you can see, depending on how much I'm pressing in a certain area, it's going to fill in more. But you can really go as, as much as you want with the you know, motion blur. I don't like to get features like on the face, like if I did that, I don't want it like that. So um, I did the I hired the opacity to 99, and I'm just going to show you guys how it would look even more, like the full opacity. So you can kind of like vary, you can do the whole background 99 or 100%. So just, that's before and that's after, just kind of, again, depends what kind of mood you're going for. If you want to erase, just go back to black. Well, I just reference Amy Winehouse. 20 brownie points for me, right? <laughs> and I'm going to do this exactly as I would. Like if I were really going to do this, if I was really going to edit this picture in with a blur. Wouldn't do it too crazy. And again, I'm literally just um, varying opacity. This is at 33%. And um, I'm using the black to erase and the white to add. Now, another, one cool thing you can do is let's say you don't want it normal setting. You could do light uh, screen. You could do um, lighten. But if you're going to do lighten, what I would recommend is to shift it. Literally drag the mask and you can add like a really cool, it makes it even cooler effect. If you do light in, I think that looks pretty cool. You could do, I mean, soft light doesn't really, don't do soft light. I mean, the best, the best two layer settings for this would be screen or light in, I think, in my opinion, would be light in or screen. So, or you could just put it to normal, which is a, a, actually the best uh, layer setting. So, again, super, really, really easy and... I hope you guys um, like this tutorial. I use this a lot for my photos. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Please leave any questions or comments in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for watching.